the upper extremity is basically the entire hand so the shoulder elbow and also lower arm too however i'm going to talk about particularly the rotator cuff where if the job is not designed well then a couple of things could happen for example this clavicular bone this one so there is a birth sign between that bone and the and the supraspinatus tendon which is this piece now, bursa is a fluid-filled sac that provides cushioning between the tendon muscle and the bone. So it doesn't rub the bone, the muscle tendon don't get rub against the, the bone. So that's the main uh, purpose of bursa. However, when you try to overrate exert like this way, when the shoulder kinds of move this way, or this way, so what happens is this bursa gets, get pinched like this. So it could happen that the bursa get damaged and then that is called bursitis. Also, it could pinch that tendon, the supraspinatus tendon and the muscle. It could also tear the tendon. So if you apply too much overhead exertion, it, you might tear that tendon or muscle here and then um, is primarily because of the uh, overuse or primarily for the overhead uh, work so this uh, humeral head this process kind of pinched uh, between these uh, two bones you got this uh, tendons here and the bursa here now the definition of tendon the thing that connect bones and the muscle is the white highly a strong fiber that connects your bone and the muscle however lot of overhead exertion like this lot of rotation like this any job that requires any kind of overhead work might actually cause the bursitis also tendonitis so job should be designed in a way so now the shoulder is not really designed for strength it's just simply designed for stability and that's why if it used for doing some work then it might get hard so just to understand the anatomy it has basically this bursa some tendons so these are the two pieces that most important for ergonomist